Banff Springs Hotel. We're here to figure out if this place is really Canada's most haunted hotel. I was here late one night and uh, I was working on a project and somebody walked behind me and it was a dead end corridor. So I turned around to say uh, good morning to them and there was nobody there. Guests and staff alike have seen a bride dancing in the Cascade Ballroom alone. It's just that feeling that there's presence. a presence. There's something here. So whether you believe in the paranormal or not, there's just one way to find out. Maybe come stay a night in one of Canada's most haunted hotels. What is up guys, my name is Simon Mike. Welcome back to the Hypest channel on the internet. Today marks the very first episode of the newest series for my channel. Now tomorrow we are flying all the way to Vancouver. Me and all the boys in the house are going all the way over there and driving all the way back. And now there's one spot that I wanna to try to stop at and that is the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. And before we leave, I wanna see if I could try to convince everybody to actually do this with me. So let's go inside and let's see what they say. You probably are wondering why I've gathered everyone here. No, not actually, not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know why. We're going to do one of your stupid little videos. As we all know, we are leaving to Vancouver tomorrow. And we are driving all the way back home. So that means we're going across the entirety of Canada. And there's a special spot right in the middle that we are gonna go to. And that is Canada's most haunted hotel. Wait. We've already gone to Canada's most haunted hotel. That was Ottawa's most haunted hotel. That was, yeah, that was Ottawa's most haunted hotel. Oh, wow. And was, what was the name of that hotel, Jesse? Do you remember? The uh, Fairmont or Laurier. Lor Fairmont. Yeah. So this new hotel that we're going to is actually called the Fairmont Banff Hotel. What? Yeah. How's that possible? Yeah, how do they have the same name? It's like a series of hotels, and apparently a oh. lot of them are haunted. But this Fairmont Hotel is the most haunted hotel out of all of them. This hotel is shown on many, many haunted lists of like hotels. Like if you go search world's most haunted hotel, Fairmount Banff will show up, but it'll be number one. So that is why I want to go there. I want to see if this place is actually legit. What do you guys think? You want to go? You <laughs> We have no choice, I, right? <laughs> this man, this man has us at gunpoint. He says we're gonna film a video, and you're gonna say yes. <laughs> to we have no we choice. Go. We're on a road trip in <laughs> Vancouver in one car. We have no choice. <laughs> I'm just gonna tuck this in here. <laughs> yes, we're down, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's all sit down. Let's see why this place is as haunted as his website say it is. All right, so before we fly to Vancouver, let's find out why this place is so haunted. So I want to show you guys what the hotel actually looks like before we actually go there and oh. talk about the haunting. So here's the image. I think it looks oh, what the hell pretty damn you? cool. It, it looks, looks Hogwarts. really cool. That's what, what I'm that? saying. It, it looks, looks like Hogwarts, Hogwarts from Harry Potter. I have a question already. Yeah. It does not look haunted. It looks very it looks come on. That looks, that yeah. looks, it looks lively and alive. Right? It just looks like there's lights on. Is it, a picture of it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> there's no more hotel there and it's completely abandoned. There's one floor. Okay, so I've heard a little bit about this place and apparently there's this like phantom bride. <laughs> like that's the, the, yeah, that's the most the main popular one. one, right? Which I can imagine is pretty, uh, pretty fitting for a place like that. So apparently this lady was married in Banff in like the 30s or 40s, something like that. She got the bridal suite and they were having this huge ball. What is that? Another the banquet. banquet. A banquet, yeah, yeah. A banquet ball, you know. Cotillion. Same, same thing. thing. Same thing. So there's this huge like marble staircase. Mm -hmm. Like this place is insanely fancy. And she <laughs> was going down the staircase towards the, the banquet room. And she brushed against one of the candles. That was like the primary way they like lit the place. It brushed up against her dress and just like exploded into flames. Oh, <laughs> and then she tripped and like fell down the stairs and she ended up like- on fire. While on fire and like breaking her neck. And now people apparently see her. And it makes sense because yeah. you know, you're, it's your wedding, not your wedding day, but you're like celebrating your wedding, this fancy thing. And then you die suddenly 
It mm -hmm. builds yeah. some type of like hatred and like, and that's why she place. hasn't like transcended. Very creepy stuff. Mm -hmm. Ever since she's been haunting these hallways, she's been known to be walking up the stairs up to the ballroom like all the time, like going up and down because that's mm -hmm. pretty much how she died. She was going up the stairs. So right? she walks up the stairs yeah, she's... and she's seen tumbling down them as well. Or... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy gee, imagine walking up. This place is beautiful and you just hear, <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? And then she just disappears. <laughs> Jesus, pack your things, honey. Apparently, you could also see her like dancing in like the ballroom where she was going, and she's just like dancing there. And I mean, if I saw a girl in a dress dancing in a ballroom and then just like vanish, that'd be absolutely terrifying. That's kind of weird, yeah. There are also multiple reports of like screams and like weird like howling coming from like the bridal suite where she was staying. Howling? I don't know, like strange sounds, like. Just many reports and there's just like no one in the room. It's just like weird to hear that kind of stuff in a room where no one's supposed to be in. Yeah. And then there's a second ghost that is found in the hotel and he's called the Bellman. And his name is Sam McCauley. And this guy is apparently a friendly ghost who like helps around the place. There's like two ladies who like went to the room and their key card wasn't working. So they went to the, they went down the stairs, they went, oh, like the card's not working. Had okay, to get like the bellman to like fix it. And he was like busy doing other stuff. And he was like 15 minutes like doing other stuff. And then he mm -hmm. finally came back. And then they go back to the room and then the key cards started working again. And apparently that's Sam McMully or whatever, McCully. So the ghost did that. Yeah, apparently the He's ghost is out. like helping guests and like staff so doing like, dude random yeah. stuff mm -hmm. um and apparently you're actually able to see him because there's one time a girl she was like checking in and there was a dude an old scottish dude in a plaid shirt which is the description of sam mccully he was helping her like put her bags in the room but apparently there's nobody of that nature who actually works there and she's like dead set on this person Dude, was actually helping her. I she, bet it's someone who's heard the story, walks around in the same outfit, up. and just plays everyone. That, that would so be funny. funny. That would actually be funny to do. It is sounds doing that. too good to be true. For a full on like apparition to be moving yeah. around and helping things. That's a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this know is that. Canada's most haunted hotel. So uh, there's mm. gotta be something saucy about this place that makes it like that. Yeah. It must yeah, be. That's true. There's also other stories of like Sam like haunting his like old office where he used to work and it's actually now a guest room, but apparently you're mm -hmm. still able to see him. He just like loved his job so much that Jesus when he died. Like, he just came back to the hotel. And this man probably thinks he's still on shift. Wow. <laughs> punching in and punching just out. Punching in yeah, and punching out. hours where he appears. He has no clue. No idea. Imagine loving your job that much. Couldn't be me. <laughs> you guys are like ghosts still <laughs> YouTubers. Yeah, when we die, we just got a camera like walking around. Running the hotel around. Place. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're scaring the guests by going, by being scared by them. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a yelling in the middle of the night like they were startled or something. <laughs> Okay, this is weird. Apparently, there's a room, room 873, which is the most haunted room in the hotel, but it's blocked off. Yeah, I heard about that, actually. It's, uh, I can't remember what happened with that room, but I heard that it was so haunted that they had to seal it off and even, like, remove the numbers. Got just so people knew, new. like, okay, like, because people eventually heard, oh, room 873. Mm -hmm. They had to, like, scrape the numbers off so people would just stop. Jesus. Uh, that's awful. Yeah, it says here that legend has it a man murdered his wife and young daughter before committing suicide in that room. And guests have said that, like, people, when they fall asleep, they're awoken by, like, howling screams and, like, crazy screeches in the room and lights turning on and off and they'd find, like, bloody handprints on the mirror inside the room and then the staff would like that's come crazy. upstairs and then the prince would be gone yeah that's, that's weird that's, that's, like that's pretty terrifying line. like imagine it even says that some people reported seeing like the spirit of the daughter who like got killed by the father outside of the door roaming around the halls and this is really weird apparently the hotel is like covering up the whole story so like if, yeah if you ask any of the employees they're just gonna deny this ever happening like this is not a story like this never happened i mean yeah it could like harm their reputation right yeah so that, exactly like, makes sense it says the door was removed and the opening was covered with the drywall and to match the rest of the hallway so you literally can't even see where it is every floor has a room ending in 73 each floor except for the eighth floor mm -hmm. this is the only room that is missing when you head down the hallway there's lights above each doorway as well as the spot where there is no door 
So that means there should have been a room there, but they just blocked yeah. the wall off. Nope, no room here. Weird. Don't worry about it. And then if you knock along the door, you'll notice that the wall is thicker where the door used to be. Like a thicker like plaster. Oh, so you really can't even like break through it if you tried. Yeah. Cause there's like definitely something there like yeah. a door maybe i don't know it's that bad yeah we are technically ready to go there i think there's one thing that i want to talk about now i know last time we did something we were on route 66. there's a ritual that we can do that we a could ritual? test ourselves have you ever heard of the 11 mile ritual and we tried to do something to heal us from all stuff and obviously mm -hmm. as everyone saw the end of it was just <sighs> So damn bad that we just had to end the ritual. We couldn't finish it. We didn't get our wish. Bro, let's just go. Whatever yeah, this is, go. yeah, let's get the hell out of here, man. Let's Jesse, what do you think we should do? Should we end it? Do end it, end it, it's done. Things still are happening. We're in the new house and lights just randomly turn on. Doors randomly like open. It's just not good. And I think I've done a bit of research on a new ritual that we could do that doesn't involve creepy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's supposed to happen. It's called the fire ritual or something like that. All we need is a fire and all of us bring an object that we feel is either attached to us or has some kind of haunting attached to it and a name of like a ghost that you think is like following you. Lucifer would be my name probably. Lucifer, yeah, the devil. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think we need to try this before we leave. Oh, we do the ritual here? We could do it here. Like we just need like a fire and like the objects. We could figure oh. out objects that we need. Are you saying we need an object? Mm -hmm. Attached to us? Yeah. And then attached to the paranormal that kind of like strings us all together? Yeah. Yeah, have an object like that, but it's not in this house. And we're gonna need a ladder. Where is it? What? It's at the old house. Old house. We want us to go back to the old house. And we're gonna need a ladder. All right. We are oh. here at the old house. Yes, sir. We oh. haven't gone in yet, but first, before we start anything, Let's go over everything we got. Nick, you I got, got this your- I got ladder to get into the place where I hid my item. Interesting. Kind of weird, but we're gonna find out what that is. I brought this, which is an item that I got in a Dybbuk box from a long time ago. And I feel like maybe burning this That's could creepy. could do something, so. It's, I'm yeah. not gonna say anything about mine, but it's pretty straightforward. Mmm. From those who know. A planchette. Too many Ouija board videos, man. Oh yeah. What about uh well, I was Mike? gonna bring a picture of my ex because that's the only true thing that still haunts me to this day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm bringing this instead because this Beware. was from our most recent Oh, that's trip. from Route yeah, 66. I snagged it because I was like, this is spooky. Look what it says. Beware. No way. Beware. Okay, well, Nick, I don't know what this could be. He hasn't told us anything. Why upstairs? What could you use a ladder up here? Listen, never underestimate the importance of a ladder. They say as long as you're holding a ladder, you can get into any building without people asking any questions. So <laughs> that's sure. lesson learned. What, he what is he doing? What? Oh, on, on top of the most. shelf? It's an attic. The thing oh. that haunts me most is better off not being in my room. So, so you put it in my room. Whoa! You need to, you need to get you didn't even, you didn't lost even, my life. <laughs> you didn't even put it together right. You give so little shit to your life. He's 13 feet in the air. His ladder's wobbling. I've never looked up here. I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh boy. I'm scared. Ah. Why? Why would you put this up here? And in oh no, my room. What is that? What is it? What is it? What is it? You see? One sec, man. Hold your horses. In due time, my friends. Okay. Oh. Can you can you show me what it is? Okay. Now. No. What? Your bike hold your hand out. That? You have to be very delicate with this. Holy what is that? What is that? Look what I got a long time ago. Yeah, I would have these like terrible night terrors uh, when I had this under my bed. So I was like, I don't want to get rid of it in case it holds a grudge. But I also don't want to keep it in my room. So I snuck in your nice. passed out and I was like, Okay, one Jeez. sec. Let me look at this thing. I feel like I've seen this before. Jesus, man. Have you never done a video on this? Uh, nope. Nick, if you're out here, 
Come on, answer us. I'm freaking out, man. Why are the lights on? Why is this out here? Is that? You could just no, be in there. Someone in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't even remember how I got it, but I just remember having it, you know? That's kind of weird. Okay. I see something moving up there. I see heads. Yeah, yeah. Nick? I'm telling you. Oh, it's just gone. Hello? Oh. That's a shoe up there. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get the fire started, I guess. All right, so to start the ritual, everyone's gonna each get a piece of paper, and we're gonna write down the name of anything that we think is following us from any past experiences that we've had. And then after we do this, we're gonna throw that into the pit that we have Thank you. set up here, and then we'll burn everything. So I have Jessica. I feel like we went to a haunted barn not too long ago and there was a demon there and we tried to summon her. Jessica, if you're here, can you please show yourself to us? Go, 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 get the hell out of the house now. Get out, get out, get out. It was literally running at me. Go, 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 go. We saw her or I saw her and ever since then I feel like a lot more stuff has been happening to me So I just feel like Jessica was the one so I got Sam Sam the sailor from the Haunted Airbnb you guys remember that Paul that's guys, the wrong way just talking to me who? S Sam you guys didn't okay. hear anything. He was well, just talking to me. Well, we need to leave the cottage And I know yeah, some weird sad. stuff happened. Yes, that's kinda, right. Yeah, yeah right. so Sam just gonna put that in there. Bye Sam. Goodbye Sam and um as Zozo. Yeah. First demon I ever encountered. It started off so well. There was no problems. Everything left. Nothing. And then it came back, man. It fucking came back! From uh, a lot of Ouija board challenges at uh, Laws. Good stuff. What about you, Nick? Uh, I have Lucy. Who's Lucy? Lucy? Lucy, if you're in this room, then make yourself present. Right now. Bro, you pulled your neck. neck. Pulled your neck. Pulled my, my head backwards like this. Oh my god. What? Dude, what the I hell? swear to god. I feel like it's the name of this doll. So I'm just gonna put Lucy. But there. It sounds very familiar. Right. Mike. Nick, what the hell are you doing up there, bro? Oh my god. Oh my Nick, god. what the hell are you doing? What the hell's going on? What the hell? Whoa! What the hell? What the hell? Where, where am I? What are you doing? Oh, I don't like this, man. Where am I? My, my, you're praying to the box. Lucy? Like, what is that? You weren't there for it. But I'm getting some weird flashbacks. Like what? I'm pretty sure that's the doll that I found in a crate, a chest, like in a random location. What? At a haunted Airbnb barn. Like, literally, like, the most sketchiest thing in the world. Oh, what is that? Why is it? What's that net? What the hell? Oh my god! What? What the what hell is that? Dude, holy! Okay, let me just. Jesus Christ, dude! Look at their eyes. This is what happened. I was holding that doll, and I was yeah. like, "Lucy, are you here with us?" And the door literally slammed. Lucy, are you here? Whoa! Oh my god! What? The crazy thing is, is before that, all that happened, Nick went missing in the middle of the night and he was praying to that chest. What? Is that why he has the doll then? I he don't like know stole how it? the hell he got that doll, man. Dude, we definitely need to burn it. Why he has the doll and why he brought it in our house? Should, should we like say something or just burn it and like be done with I it? We should just burn it because okay. I feel like something about that doll is like attached Not to it. Not good, yeah. It's just like we need to, because I feel like he might like start regretting doing this, so we need to make okay. the pace. That's a good idea. We'll all put our items into the pit. So we'll put Lucy. That's creepy, man. Yeah. yeah. Put my item from the Dybbuk box. And my beware. Doors slamming, like lights going off, and like just like weird, weird shit always happens to us. Especially Jesse, I've been witnessing a lot of stuff. You've been doing this for a lot longer than all of us. Why? Why does it fall of us? We cleanse ourselves from anything that's been following us, anything that's attached to us. A huge fresh start for all of us.